This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Court is back in session at the Ingham County Circuit Court for William Strample's fourth day of trial. The first witness to take the stand was Nicole Eastman. She was a former MSU College of Medicine student and had a similar story to the final testimony held on Monday. During her testimony, she told the court that Strample groped her at the ball sponsored by the school. I felt violated and I saw his wife and I was humiliated. I was like a deer caught in headlights, Eastman said. I said, hello, Mrs. Strample. She told the court she couldn't recall whether or not Strample's wife responded. After that incident, Eastman told the court she left and immediately told her now husband what happened. In September 2017, Phil Corsi went to the doctor complaining about a pain after eating. He got a diagnosis he never expected. I had a large lymphoma that had become cancerous, Phil said. His days became filled with doctor's appointments and chemotherapy treatments. Phil had no family history of cancer and lived a healthy, active lifestyle. He and his wife, Kim Corsi, say the diagnosis didn't make any sense. Then he heard that there was an alleged link between Roundup's weed killer chemical glyphosate and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Juries, after looking at evidence, had delivered multi-billion dollar verdicts to several cancer victims. There's no warning labels on it, and the chemicals have been linked to B-cell lymphoma, and it, and it is still in that product, Kim said. Phil says that for decades he used Roundup uh, multiple times a week on weeds in his yard and his neighbor's yard. There should be some, some kind of warning on this so folks aren't going through the same thing, Phil said. We wouldn't use it if we would have known. TurboTax, the nation's number one tax prep software, is facing a class action lawsuit claiming many lower income people paid for tax filing when their returns should have been free. One woman believes she was one of them. Jessica Carlson is a single mom raising a daughter and watching every dollar. She decided to file her taxes through TurboTax this year after hearing it was free if you earn less than $34,000 annually. Her income was significantly less than that, she says. The only problem, instead of free, she was billed $90 for TurboTax, paying out almost one-third of her tax return. Today, Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed a proclamation declaring June 2019 as Pride Month. June 2019 marks the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising in New York City, which served as a catalyst for the gay rights movement, both in the U.S. and throughout the world. This is an important step in ensuring LGBTQ Michiganders are treated with the respect they deserve, but there's still more work to do, said Whitmer. We must all press forward to ensure Michigan steps up to the forefront in advancing civil rights for LGBTQ individuals. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.